Hi guys, I'm Shay Mitchell and we're at the Zoe issue right now, so be sure to check out next month's issue, the spring issue of Zoe magazine. I'm a blue Picasso, stuck on a wall, in the middle of a hall, in Barcelona, trying to figure out how to get down, cause this solitude is bringing me down. Hey, I'm Kay Panna Baker, and you're behind the scenes of the new generation shoot for Zoe Magazine. In regards to my professional life, I feel like people don't know that I have been doing this for quite some time. Um, my dad's an actor, so when I was uh, at the age of four, I said I wanted to do what he did. So it's been like 16 years for me. Very long. <laughs> How did I prepare for the role? Uh, yeah, I, there wasn't much like method acting being done. Like I didn't, you know, uh, uh, cruise around high schools. Uh, that's for sure. Um, you know, I just I read the books. Um, I uh, just kind of got into like what what makes him tick. You know, uh, what what I think this means in the script and that means in the script. Um, but ultimately, like what you know, what is the story about? It's a love story. So even though it's it's maybe questionable in some ways. 96 Minutes is a drama um, centered around four people's lives. Um, me and Brittany uh, play the two girls who um, are kidnapped in their own car, and it's kind of their journey on a well, how they you know, have to like, save each other and protect themselves and get away from this horrible situation. Well, luckily, <laughs> I went into an audition room for a open cast call for all natives in Phoenix. And uh, I auditioned for the part of Paul, which is Alex Moranis' role, where he tries to kill Bella. We did that whole scene. And I'm happy to be Hey, this is Laura Vanport. This is my Zoe shoot. Make sure you take a look for the feature in the February March issue. Thanks. The Modern Family, I think, is a special show because people can relate to it. Um, it's just, there are so many things that happen in your everyday life that you can see on the show. And uh, it's sometimes more exaggerated than what you would normally go through. But um, it just gives you that relief that it happens to other people and that you're not as dumb as you think you are. <laughs> Filming has been absolutely amazing. It's so much fun. We have such a great cast and such a great crew of people um, to come to work through every day. Uh, the next episode that we're shooting, the season finale of season one, is crazy. Crazy, crazy. I, I wish I could tell you what happens, but uh, it's going to be a good one, so yeah. Uh, well, I mean, at the end of the last season was the Red Sky my mother released, um, and so no one really knows quite what the Red Sky is, if it's going to harm the humans or not, but you will find out uh, what the Red Sky is. Um, Lisa, my character, is definitely in it a lot more. Um, she's dealing with uh, becoming the next queen of her race, all while trying to protect the human race and possibly, you know, uh, be getting into a fertile state where she might be having to deal with a whole bunch of other issues. Hi, I'm Ian Harding from Pretty Little Liars, and you are watching Zoe T. Um, I, I mean, I love playing Emily. She's like a complex character, and she's going through a lot of things and figuring herself out. And it's so cool to play her. I mean, it's, it's an honor, uh, especially with the last episode of her coming out to her parents. It was such a proud moment for me. I was like, yes, go Emily. So, I mean, she's such a great character, and I wouldn't want to play anybody else. Uh, no Ordinary Family is a show about uh, this family that has superpowers, but um, they haven't always had them. And my character is really interesting because she doesn't actually want her superpower. She's able to read minds and she's in high school and she thinks that she's going to be called a crazy freak. Um, and so you see her grow as a person, you see her grow um, with her superpowers, um, and you see her grow with her family. Um, and it's, it's, a, it's really touching and heartfelt, um, and I hope people like it. Hey, this is Christian Serratos, and look for my feature in the February March edition of Zoe Max. One time I will be able to relate to my characters when I cook, I am an awful cook, I can't bake, I can't cook, I can make um, hot pockets in the microwave. I'm a very good microwavable cook. Um, other than that, um, me and Haley don't really have anything in common. Uh, I would hope I'm a little bit brighter than her, so. It was surreal. Uh, it was surreal winning the Teen Choice Award. Um, 
because I, I didn't even, I was, everything was still so new and fresh and like before I knew it I had a surfboard. And, and so I, I don't really know how it was because I like practically couldn't feel anything because it was this big whirlwind of the show and all of a sudden I'm like sitting next to like Channing Tatum or something like that. So I'm, I'm just like some getting, getting like a, a surfboard with the, you know, team choice awards on it was uh, ridiculous. Yes, I am very proud to be the new face of Pantene. It's still so surreal in saying that. Um, I had no idea. I, I was not expecting that at all. I mean, even for the show to blow up how it has, I mean, never in a million years would I have thought it would have been like this. So I'm so blessed. And yeah, Pantene, Pretty Little Liars, I mean, it's looking like a really amazing year. <laughs> uh, it's really, really great, and I'm just, I'm, so happy to be working with them, so. I don't know if I've ever actually looked up to anybody. I just look at, at people's lives and what they do, and, and I just know that how I want people to reflect on me is that um, I did what I could with what I had. Um, so I'm always looking to give back. I'm always looking to strive for bigger and better and um, to do better jobs, and, uh, and hopefully I succeed by the time I'm dead, which who knows when that'll be, but I, I hope to have accomplished everything in my life that I want to. I would love to meet Meryl Streep. Um, I think most young actresses would die to get a chance to even speak to her or ask her some tips. Um, I would have loved to have met Ben Davis, but uh, you know, there's any old Hollywood actresses. Um, Sinatra would have been great. Not an actor, but full kind of an actor. Um, but Meryl Streep definitely is. Hey guys, this is Guy Warren from the Twilight Saga, and I'm here at the Zoe Magazine shoot for the new generation coming out in February. Uh, school was always very important to myself and my family, um, and that was always the number one priority. Whether uh, we wanted to do sports or cheerleading or acting, it was always school had to come first. Um, so I started going to community college when I was 13, working on Summerland. I uh, did that for two years. At 15, I got accepted to UCLA and then went there for two years and finished up my BA in history. So uh, what I would do is I'd work my school my work schedule around school. So I'd give up um, certain jobs because it would interfere with the school schedule. So I'm ha it's my proudest accomplishment to have my college degree. Uh, so many people wish that they had one and I'm, I'm a proud owner of one. <laughs> I think the whole being an actor and one that you want to do all kinds of things, you want to do the, the crazy roles, the fun roles, the violent roles, the scary roles and all that stuff. And so I think um, whatever comes my way, I want to do. I'm not uber picky about it, I, I just kind of want to work. Yeah. I really want to get to Disneyland Tokyo. That's been high on my list for a while. Um, I want to do a lot of traveling, so I guess that would be a good one, maybe Tahiti. Um, I, I have an opportunity to go out there and I can sit on it, so I think I should probably get on that. <laughs> I'm looking for good things, hoping to continue to work. Um, if you can, you know, continue to work, you're blessed, and, and uh, just for family and friends to be acting healthy, and hopefully all good things. You know, I've always been taught that you should have a backup plan, especially in this crazy acting business. So I got my degree in history, and if I weren't acting, I'd either be a teacher or an animal trainer or even a beautician. I have no idea what I want to do, but I want to do them all. I want to, I want to polish off my college debt. That'd be cool. Um, I guess be working, be alive and healthy. Knock on wood. Um, yeah, I don't really have that many like big lofty dreams. Like I'm not like Oscar, 2012. Here we come. You know, <laughs> not gonna happen. Um, so I, I think just just employed and and loving life and having friends and family and good food. It's pretty simple. And I'm excited.